This time I will be using decoration tools to add tones and patterns. Let's start with the tones. Since this decoration brush uses anti-aliasing, I need to change the expression color of the layer to color before drawing. I select the decoration tool from the tool palette and select soft circles in the effect group. Further, I adjust the brush density, brush size and particle size in the tool property palette and start drawing near the feet of the characters. As this material is not monochrome, I have to use the Tone function in the Layer Property palette to change it into a monochrome tone. Next, I will draw the clothes patterns using another decoration brush. I create a new layer and change the expression color to color once again. Then, I choose the Auto Select tool and refer other layers to select. In the Layer Property palette, I activate Select Additionally and select the different parts of the skirt. From the Decoration tools in the Tool palette, I use the Water Lily in the Flower group. I draw these inside the selected area. After that, I change the expression color of the layer back to monochrome. I adjust the lines with the color threshold slider and finish the skirt pattern. Next, I want to use a decoration brush that really pops. Again, I create a new layer. Then I select the ruler tool and the special ruler from the tool palette. From the available rulers, I pick the focus land ruler and place it appropriately. I use the star brush from the pattern group of the decoration tools. These stars are created by moving the pen along the ruler while adjusting the brush size at the same time. 